Okay, you have exactly two weeks to get your Halloween decorations up. Mm -hmm. Maybe get your outfits picked out. But also, more importantly, don't forget about the jack-o'-lanterns. Don't forget about them if you haven't found the perfect pumpkin yet. A Stark County church has hundreds to pick from. Mm -hmm. And as Bob Jones shows us tonight, your purchase will help several missions. Six dollars. Perfect. You like right. that one? Yeah. All right. Finding the perfect pumpkin is a lot of fun. Holding on to it. Found the one! Can be part of the challenge. Take it over to the table. Tell them. <gasps> that is heavy. Do you, you hit it? it? Yeah. Outside of Compassion Church in Plain Township, the parking lot serves as a pumpkin patch in all shapes and sizes. Mostly orange, of course, but you'll also find green and white ones and others with a distinctive look. I think we all have different tastes, so my favorite have warts on them. <laughs> Christina Pena is having a great time taking it all in. What do you get out of watching the kids go around picking out their favorite pumpkin? Oh, I love that. Like, that's probably the best part, right? The kids being a part of it. But these are also pumpkins with a purpose through a partnership with Pumpkin Patch Fundraisers. Money raised will benefit the church's Compassion Foster Closet, which provides clothing, backpacks, and other items at no cost to foster and some lower income families. And they can shop four times a year for clothing, diapers, wipes, formula. In addition to raising money for Compassion Foster Closet, the Pumpkin Raiser is also generating funds for humanitarian aid projects in Honduras, India, and Africa. Pictures provided by Compassion's pastor, Noah Schumacher, show recent missionary work in Kenya, building water wells. One water well in Kenya is anywhere from five to $10,000. So the water well that we just did provides water for life for an entire community. So even though it might seem like your dollar pumpkin doesn't matter, your dollar pumpkin really does matter. Shannon Radcliffe says the pumpkin prices range from a buck to about $45 for some of those giant ones. They were huge, yeah. <laughs> and we touched almost every single pumpkin. They started out with 822 pumpkins and they hope to get rid of all of them with sales continuing through Halloween. How much money they raise remains to be seen, but the church members say they're just happy to do their small part to help people, both locally and overseas. We would love to see it be thousands of dollars, but we're happy, you know, just having people come through and meeting people and getting to talk to people and connecting with the community. In Plain Township, Bob Jones, News 5. Pumpkin. Yeah, those are some good looking pumpkins out there. Those warty ones. ones are crazy. There are some big ones. Yeah. And those, what do you call it, like those green ones? You call them green pumpkins. Green pumpkins. Those yeah. green or pumpkins. Like those Cinderella Boards, ones are cool that are like kind of awesome. flattish. Uh, you know, as kids growing up, all we had was the orange ones. And yeah, I didn't know, they, they, they didn't come up with the green ones, apparently for us. That makes me think of pumpkin pie. There you go. Ooh.